anaconda, my anaconda. The gym is filled with people you hate. Some you hate because you're a hater, some you hate because even their parents hate them. But others, you hate because they're fucking with your games. Game rapists. These are the worst people in the gym. The guy who wants you to work out faster. Fuck this old crab. He ain't working in for shit. It's always some old dude asking you how much you got left on set one and is always unhappy with the answer. Then he lingers around the entire time giving you the stink eye while you're cruising Instagram in between sets. Fuck off, Dumbledore. I'm not trying to catch your scabies from Ellis Island. He only wants you to work out faster because he's gonna die soon. The guy that wants to work in even though it's gonna really complicate the exercise. You're over here doing squats and this guy comes over asking to work in and then after you agree, he springs it on you that he's gonna be doing bench with the safety up. And then he asks you to help strip the weight and rearrange everything. This is like that friend that will ask you for a favor, but won't tell you what it is until after you reply. And now you're stuck being the godfather of his kid because it's too late to ignore his texts. Which is fine until your fucking friend kicks the bucket and now you're stuck taking care of his loser son who's deaf gonna grow up to masturbate to dragons and shit. And that's on you now, bro. The guy who puts the weights back in the wrong spot. This dude dropped out of school when he was four because he never learned how to count by fives or match shapes. And now thanks to Count Dracula, I have to grab one of the 90s from the top shelf of the rack and the other one from the opposite end, both equally as far from the bench I'm using and the numbered slot that says 90 pounds with the five pound dumbbells in it. Or I gotta dig through six layers of five, 10, 25s to get to the 45, like I'm excavating for fucking Yutzi over here. Yeah, you do this? You do this, brother? Yeah. yeah. hold you two hands. The guy who works out in front of your mirror space. If there wasn't a mirror, there's a chance you might not have seen me working out behind you. But I know you see me working out behind you. you. Know how I know this? Cause you're standing in front of a fucking mirror. Super set. Some of these. Before your selfish ass got here, I can see me too. I can see my pump, my glory, and my future. Now all I can see is your back fat and the reason your daughter's on Dando. Fucking super set. The guy who works right off the rack. This is the dude that'll go to Whole Foods and eat all the fucking produce off the shelf, acting like he's checking for freshness, like it's his personal fucking garden. Now, it's cool. I don't need any of those grapes that you mauled with your inconsiderate gypsy fingers. I'll just stand here and wait for more to grow. The guy who works out super close to you. You're over here, benching 100 pound dumbbells over your face, and this guy thinks it's a good time to sit next to you and start flapping around some seated lateral raises. Show the boy tell him. This is like pig roasting a chick with you, bro, who all of a sudden decides he wants to hit the two spot while you're still deep in the V. We might as well put socks on our dicks and rub them together. We might not actually be touching, but that doesn't make me any less concerned with the fact that I can feel your dick with my dick through a thin layer of butt skin. Anyone doing CrossFit, I don't need to be inhaling your fucking chalk dust while I'm mid-set. Just so you can be hanging on to the pull-up bar that you're violently swinging from. While your friend's over there, busy giving himself scoliosis for time with the barbell I've been waiting for since I got here. A couple of pull-ups. You really need all that equipment just to make zero gains? This is like that dude that goes to the bar rocking true religion jeans, a vest, and a fedora just to get zero pussy. Who are you trying to fool, bro? I can literally see your virginity. I know you still got that shit. Brawl up. Gymnast. Super Mario. The guy who does tricep dips on two benches. When you do tricep dips on two benches, it's like going to a party and claiming two beds just so you can push them together and sleep in the crack. Push up two. The guy who does cable swings in the middle of a cable cross. You're trying to hit tricep pushdown, but Arnold Palmer's over here 
dead center in the cable cross, swinging the cables around, like shaving a couple strokes off his golf game, he's gonna get his dick to work again. Now he's gotta turn around and hit the other side? Give it a rest, bro. The only sand trap you haven't been in lately is your wife's vag. The guy who snipes your setup and rearranges it completely by the time you're back from the water fountain. I was gone for 15 seconds and I left all my shit here with the weight on the ball. You know what you were doing. This is that dude named Franco that always try to convince your girl to break up with you every time you're not around. All like, yo, what's up, girl? I got tickets to Sam Smith and like the way you deserve to be treated. Piss off, Jafar. I'm gone for 15 seconds. You think you can come in here and fuck with my setup? This ain't a fucking game, dude. This ain't a game, dog. Street fighter, though. Totally come through, babe. I'm having a picnic. Yeah. All right, babe. See you. Having a picnic. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos every week. In dog ears. Is that like less or more? Dog ears. Whichever is less work for me, go to dommerch.com. Tons of new shit. Buy one, get one. But like that's how it works. Like you, you know, you buy one, and then you get that one that you just paid for in the mail. So hit that up.